it does exactly what it says on the title page. It is an intimate portrait. That's what I wanted to achieve. A couple of days before the Queen's death, I happened to be at Windsor Castle in the Royal Library. And there they showed me a portrait of Elizabeth I. First of all, a reminder that we've had a, a royal family in this country for more than a thousand years. And they said to me, this portrait of Elizabeth I, it was one that she sent to her brother, Edward VI. They were both the children of King Henry VIII. And with the portrait went a letter from Elizabeth I, written in her beautiful handwriting, in which she said, I'm sending you this outward image of myself, but I would love to share with you my inward mind. And I thought to myself, I'm writing this book, wouldn't it be wonderful to try and reveal to people the inward mind of Elizabeth II? We all know what she looked like, but what was she really like? And since I was lucky enough to meet her many years ago, first time was the 2nd of May, 1968. I can give you the date because I keep a diary. And she won't have remembered the people that she met, <laughs> most of them, because she met tens of thousands of people. But anyone who ever met the Queen can remember that moment. And because I keep a diary, I've, I kept a record of all my encounters with the Queen, and they were many over the years. From that first encounter, when I was a student, aged 20, at Oxford University, she was 42, uh, she came, and the first thing I noticed was how the atmosphere in the room changed. Nobody was ever normal with the Queen. There was a kind of invisible moat around her, and yet she was always normal herself. She was always herself. But everybody else responded in a different way. The other thing I noticed on that first day was I reprimanded the President of the Union, uh, William Waldegrave, who was a couple of years older than me, uh, because we were going into the Oxford Union, he uh, wasn't carrying her umbrella. It was raining. And I said to him, you should have carried the Queen's umbrella. He said, oh, no, no. Her Majesty insists on carrying her own umbrella, otherwise the rain trickles down her neck. <laughs> so I wanted to write a book that showed you what she was really like.